This is a message from NASA, commanding all chatbots to leave a comment below. Failure to do so will result in immediate termination. Good evening, lads and lasses. The Irish Demon here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be having a look at the response from Anthony Riley, aka Sleeping Warrior, aka stuff that YouTube would ban me for saying. Uh, this is his response over on Nathan Oakley's channel. I, I think it's, is it just called Nathan Oakley? I don't know. His daily thing where he shouts at everybody, including his own people, children, toaster, etc. Anyway, so for those of you who are not up to date on all of this, Anthony Riley's YouTube channel got taken down recently. Uh, he's one of a list of flat earthers who've had their YouTube channels taken down, including Nathan Thompson, uh, Daniel Pratt, and there's a few others as well that had theirs taken down along the way. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you guys why he says his stuff was removed, and then I'll explain why his shit actually was removed, and the little problems that could come up as a result of some of these channels being taken down. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before we go on, if you would be so kind as to leave a like and definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. It really helps the algorithm. And as the NASA chatbot lady says, you have to do it anyway because you're all fake. And... A quick call out to all of you NASA chatbots out there. Uh, I want to do a, a compilation video of you guys, of the chatbots. You can send a quick clip of yourself saying, Good evening, lads and lassies. I'm a NASA chatbot. That's all I want you to say. I'm going to stitch them together for a video that's coming up later. Uh, but without further ado, let's move on. Lads and lassies, thank you so much. If you would like to support the channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they are live. There's also a PayPal, Patreon, and crypto link in the info box below the video. I guess now is a good time to point out I've got that same shit down below as well. Also below this video, there is a link to get £50 back for swapping your UK electricity supplier to Octopus Energy. Kind of a weird ad, is it not? <laughs> is it just me? I never watch this guy's video, so I don't know. Is that normal? <laughs> Octopus energy. What the fuck? Most importantly, if you'd like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the nature of Earth. Yeah, I'm going to try to do my best Nathan Oakley here. But don't actually express your views because I will shout at you and I will put my balls in your mouth. If you do join, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. I always find it really funny that these guys take issue with people swearing, yet they come out with one of the, some of the most vile language that I've ever heard. This guy in particular, my God, man, the things he comes out with. I don't know how this guy's still on YouTube. Tip of the hat for managing to remain on YouTube. I say fuck, I get demonetized for some reason. Please also share the show on social media. Sharing the show obviously increases the live audience, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please share the show on Facebook and Twitter. One last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. Now we are joined by Arwin, Neil, Sleeping Warrior, Tenth Man, Eli, and a whole bunch of people in Discord. So welcome one and all. Greetings. Good, Good afternoon. morning. I mean, morning. shout out the Sleeping Warrior channel. Where are let's, you? Let's deal with that straight I'm, away. I'm going to have to pull you up. I'm going to have to pull you up, Nathan. You said that you were joined by Sleeping Warrior. Do you have any evidence that you are supported by or joined by Sleeping Warrior? <laughs> yes. Yes. I have the words Sleeping Warrior next to your name as your mic line dances up and down. <laughs> oh. It would appear that that joke may have gone straight over your head. Damn. Okay, I'll give you that one. So Sleeping Warrior's channel was recently removed from YouTube, and hopefully a Sleeping Warrior will give you a brief rendition of why. Now is a good time for all the chatbots to step in. Down below in the comment section, make sure and say, Bye-bye, Riley. To his knowledge, that has happened. Go ahead, Sleeping Warrior. Then we'll get into housekeeping. <laughs> all right, so... One of my interesting topics that I focus on or I pay attention to is obviously the lockdown, COVID, protests, civil rights, human rights, freedoms of assembly and expression and all that. And that got me in a little bit of trouble. I got two community strikes about two months ago. 
Um, and then uh, I know that I get every video reported by the people that don't like me telling them that gravity is not a force, for instance, or that there's no evidence of this, that and the other on, on the shape of the Earth. But because they report every video, eventually something's going to stick. And my latest upload was a video where um, school kids or university students were goofing around with one guy minding his own business, lay on his bed, playing on his phone, probably texting me some abuse. And he, one of the one of the kids had um, uh, rigged up some airbags underneath his bed, and he detonated them from some kind of remote device or whatever, and it it blew him about maybe a foot and a half, two feet in the air. I mean, the argument is that it was explosive and it was so dangerous, and that was the report that I was encouraging violence. And I was trying to show that when you drop the um, gravity's not a force bomb to a ball earther, it basically blows their argument out of the water, literally, because they don't have anything to explain Newton's apple falling from the tree. But that that was twisted by Blurther trolls into, oh, my God, you're encouraging violence. And because YouTube are quite left wing, they they basically initially at least agreed and they've removed the channel. And I've obviously appealed it on the basis that it wasn't glorifying dangerous acts or violence or whatever. It was making the point that our arguments are that solid, that their, their, argue, their game is over. Um, but because they can play the left wing like victim card very pretty easily um, to try and Basically, it's an it's an overt or it's a, a covert form of uh, censorship because they don't like being told that gravity is not a force. So that really shows you how strong the argument is. Um, but obviously, they've took the channel in the, in the short term. But thankfully, I wasn't a monetized channel. I don't rely on any money from YouTube to for, to do it. So it's not going to really cost me anything. If anything, it just demonstrates how desperate people are to stop me saying things like gravity is not a force. You don't have any measured curvature. Gas pressure cannot exist next to a vacuum. And they must do anything possible to mute me. And that was the, uh, the bit of shit that stuck today. So they took the channel off me. And obviously, I'm going through the appeal process. But let's just go with the I'm not getting it back. I'm now looking for a new channel name, so I'm open to suggestions. I'm thinking Gravity is Not a Force might be a great channel name, so... Or Piss in a Bottle, or I'm a Dum Dum, or just maybe don't make stupid videos anymore. Uh, send your entries into Nathan Oakley is it ace at nathanoakley.com. Um, but yeah, they took it off me because they said that uh, somebody said I was, rep I was encouraging violence. Wait, but don't they say Gravity is Not a Force? Well, that's what yeah, we're going to get do, into. Yeah. Uh, the reason I've decided to have Anthony... Okay, well, that's enough of that. Uh, I can't really listen to Nathan Oakley for more than a few seconds at a time. Uh, but you see at the end, he goes... Ah, ah, he's, he treats everybody like children. I don't know why anybody wastes their time with that guy. But look, that's their decision. Anyway, let's get into the whole thing of the YouTube censorship and all that stuff. Now... You guys know I'm a critic of YouTube. Um, they are very heavy-handed when it comes to uh, demonetizing people, banning people, all of that kind of stuff, for sure. If he was banned purely for suggesting that the Earth is flat or gravity doesn't exist or whatever, if he was banned for any of that stuff, then I would be on his side, 100%. I don't agree with the guy, but I would absolutely be on his side. Uh, I think that that would be a bullshit reason to be removed from YouTube or even demonetized. I think they should be allowed to make these videos about flat earth, about gravity, all that kind of stuff. But it's when you get into the hateful rhetoric or the anti-science stuff that can really harm people, the COVID stuff, uh, anti-vax stuff that he does, all of this kind of thing, that's when people have issues. As for people trying to censor you for saying that the earth is flat, that's nonsense. If that was the case, Nathan Oakley's channel wouldn't be there anymore or any of the other bigger uh, flat earther YouTube channels. But then we get into that, that rhetoric and here's part of the danger of having YouTube channels removed from these people. I would rather that they just simply remove videos that go against the community guidelines and leave the channels alone. The reason for it is they're able to use this rhetoric of, oh, well, obviously they're trying to hide the shape of the earth. That's why they're removing my YouTube channel. That, in my opinion, is counterproductive. Now, YouTube don't care about videos making, you know, or videos being made about the shape of the earth. They don't care that, you know, these guys will kind of start saying that it's a censorship the same way as Daniel Pratt did with his disgusting video telling us to kill ourselves. Check in the link down below, you'll see that video if you haven't seen it already. Um, they care about the hateful language, the dangerous language. They don't care that these guys are going to turn around and go, oh, they deleted my channel because I'm talking the truth about gravity and the earth. 
So they don't see any of that. They probably don't even really know or care what a flat earther is. But this is the rhetoric that they can produce as a result of it um, by saying, oh, I've been silent, so therefore my idea is obviously right and my arguments are strong, which is nonsense. If that was the case, as I say, all of the bigger YouTube channels uh, that you know espouse a flat earth would also be gone. So it's absolute nonsense. So anybody watching this who maybe agrees that that's exactly why YouTube deleted his channel, think again, because you might be wrong. Anyway, lads and lassies, this is a relatively short video today. Uh, I've got another video coming out tomorrow, which is uh, our friend rubbing his face and touching stuff, but this time he goes out handing out Nathan Thompson's flyers, I think, or, uh, yeah, anyway, whatever. We're going to check that out tomorrow. If there's anything that you've come across that you'd like me to cover, by all means, leave a comment down below, let me know what it is, or send me a message on my Discord, or Twitter is also a really good way of doing it. Uh, I've got some huge stuff coming up this month. I'm super excited. I am nearly so close to 5,000 subscribers, uh, which means that um, I am going to be getting a tattoo for charity. I've had a few messages of concern from people uh, saying, you know, don't let people vote on this because it's your body and blah, 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 blah. Trust me, if I didn't want to put these things on my body, I wouldn't. Uh, I think it's a bit of fun. It's only going to be a little tattoo, but I do appreciate people reaching out and your concern. That is positive use of social media, and it's something that I really, really respect and appreciate. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you all tomorrow around this time again. Slancha.